Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing a first ever, I guess, for my channel. I'm doing products that I regret buying. If you're interested in finding out what beauty products I have regretted buying, then go ahead and keep watching. Let me start off by saying, um, just as a PSA, if you love any of these products, if they are your ride or die, if you love or just adore the companies, the makers, whatever it may be, don't come for me. This is my opinion. These are things that did not work for me, for my skin, for my face. Not yours. Not, it's not, it doesn't, just don't, don't, just don't, don't, okay? These are my personal opinion and things that I disliked. So I just needed to say that before people were down there like, well, my, 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 my. nope, nope, we're not gonna do that. So don't be offended if your favorite babies are sitting on my desk. All that aside, I hate that I have to do that sometimes, but all that aside, let's get into what I don't like. So I'm going to do these first. I feel like they're less common. These are the Deck of Scarlet Mist Ache Proof <laughs> Bronzer and Blush. I love the colors. They're beautiful. It came with a brush. I love the brush. Um, they were they were pricey. They were very pricey. They're very messy. Like when you, I tried to use them, it would like I would spray it, and if you spray down, it spritzes, but it gets all over your hand. It just makes a mess. And I just, I really hated that I paid that as much as I did for them. Uh, and I don't really use, I've used them like three times just because they're so messy. So if there's another way you like these and have them, if there's another way to use them or apply them that is less messy, then please let me know. So the next thing I have is the Marshmallow Primer by NYX. I got this because of TikTok. Here's my thing. You're probably going to see this again soon because I'm doing a TikTok made me buy video and she's going to be in there. I liked how it felt on my skin. It was very nice, it was very creamy, but it's kind of silicone-y because it doesn't absorb. It leaves like a white cast on my face. And then what I realized is when I was using it, <laughs> I would put on like a thinner foundation. Maybe this is for full coverage kind of situation, but I would put on a thinner foundation, like the Fenty um, skin tint, and it would like look smeared. Like my foundation looks smeared um, and streaky. So I didn't like what this did with the thinner foundations I have. And no, it wasn't the foundations because I've used them with other primers and they worked fine. So this was definitely the culprit for me. The next thing is kind of a little bit older. This is the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. I was recommended to get this because of one palette that I was having trouble getting pigment to come up on. But here's the thing. <laughs> This is such a weird, pro like it's so hard and like that's how much I get out of it. Like it's just a very thick, like I gotta really like, like that to me, then no, 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 no. It's too, it's weird. It's like a real thick consistency and this one I am gonna get rid of. So the next one is the Bye Bye Pores Primer Oil Free Poreless Skin Perfecting Serum Primer. Um, I've only used this one time and it was just such a weird consistency. I think I actually didn't buy this. I think it was given to me um, in like a sample box, but it's just a very like thick, it's a very thick cream, almost like diaper rash cream. So, and it leaves like that white cast on my skin. So wasn't a fan of that, uh, not gonna use that. So that's gonna go. So first palette, first off. Candyland, or I'm sorry, Candy Castle, ColourPop Land. Like ColourPop and Candyland combined and had a baby and popped this out. I got this palette for collector reasons and I was like, you know what, I'm really gonna try to use it because it's like really, really pretty. The They're not good. They're not very pigmented at all. <laughs> What is that? Even over a white eyeshadow. I have tried um, several different times. I do like, I'm trying not to blind you, I do like this little shimmer situation here and that's the main one I've used for like inner corner because that's bomb. But these matte glitter situations, they were, they were just garbage. Like honestly they were and it's such a weird palette because it smells like, I don't know. It smells really weird and that was one of the things that I when I reviewed it I was like why does this smell like this but I think I did like a haul I don't know so I don't use it I don't really care for the colors but I am gonna keep it because I loved Candyland as a child so it's definitely one of those collector things but I just regret buying it because it just didn't work so the next two things are from the same brand they are from Kylie Cosmetics they are the Stormy collection when she had her daughter Stormy she launched this whole collection and these just I, they they weren't great. They were not great at all. I don't use them and honestly I've only used them once or twice when I first got it and they have sat here and Stormy's how old now too? 
two, three, I don't know, but I regret buying these. At that time, let me just take you back. Let me stroll down memory lane. So there are several things from Kylie Cosmetics that I really, really enjoy. The concealer and the lipsticks. I do not like the bullet lipsticks. I only like the liquid lipsticks. Shocking, I know because a lot of people hate them. I like them, I like the formula, I've had no issues. Hate the lip liners, like the lipstick. But, needless to say, when she first came out with that, I just was like in love. And then I bought a palette and I was in love with that. So then I kind of was under the impression that like everything that her company came out with, you know how like you get a couple good things from a new company and you're like, oh my God, I love this company. And then you like invest your entire bank account into that company, no, just me, okay. Um, so I did that. <laughs> And I wound up with like a bunch of shit that just wasn't it wasn't good It wasn't good the quality of the shadows just were not on par with the other ones that I've had And as like I got more into makeup and more into YouTube I did realize that it like every company the companies have bad stuff They launch a bad launch and it is what it is uh, But those two were just they're not ones that I like I do have a lot of Kylie Cosmetics palettes that I really do love uh, But those two not it. And I guess we'll do this one because it's from Kylie Cosmetics too. This is the Kendall and Kylie collab situation. I got the whole bundle. This is that everything everywhere primer shit. And I just, not primer, I don't know what it is. It's just like a jelly, yucky. I didn't like it when I reviewed it. I don't like it now. It's like, it's just like a, it's just like a gloss that's supposed to go all over your face. And it just made my eyelids really sticky. And because I have hooded eyes, like I would open my eyes and then close them and I could feel it like pulling. It was so, it was so weird and so gross. Mm, I'm gonna pass. So the next two things are from ColourPop. So this is the ColourPop Freckle Pen and this is the Liquid Liner. These two I just recently got in a haul, not my most recent haul, but the haul before that. I will put it up here for you. They were on sale, so I got them. This pen is trash. I like the Freck Pen much better. It's not very pigmented and the problem is these don't go like real freckles. They actually just look like polka dots on your face. So this, not a fan. You can't really control. And then this. I have for the life of me tried several times to use these on my eyes and they bleed. They bleed on my eyes. Like they don't start swooping down and just dripping everywhere, but they definitely bleed and smear a lot more than I would like, which is kind of weird. This one is kind of really bad. And then the white one I think was the worst. I got four of them and two of them really, really, they just bleed. It's such a weird, I don't know why it does that. Maybe I was pushing too hard. I don't know, but I'm just not a fan of these. The next thing is the Morphe and Maddie Ziegler what is this thing called? Face Gloss Stick. Listen, I have only ever used this as a lip balm because who? it's another one of those glossy things. Like I'm not putting this all over my face situation. It's very oily. It's very weird. And I, I don't really use it. I other than like right now when I reviewed it, but it, the only thing that it did was like a balm. That's it. So I do regret buying that one. We have some highlighters. Look at, we have some highlighters, okay. So the first highlighter, just protect me from the internet crazies. All right, I'm gonna say this highlighter and I need you to just wait until I finish the reason is why I don't like it before you go down to the comments and go, I don't like this highlighter. This is the Jaclyn Hill Twinkle, Jaclyn Cosmetics Twinkle Highlighter. The other one she had, I, I just, I loved it. I adored it, I loved it. This one is ridiculously white and I've tried it and people are like, oh, you're doing it wrong, try it this way. You're doing it wrong, try it that way. It still comes off very white, okay? It's this very gray casty white. There are not many people, if anybody, that can pull off a just straight up white highlighter. So that's why I regret buying this one, but it did come in that Valentine's Day bundle, I believe. Yes, it did, because it's red. I just didn't like that she came out with a white highlighter. That to me is weird. A lot of, most people, most skin tones, light, dark, medium, fair, whatever you are, you, white highlighter is not it. So the next highlighter is the Stila Putties. Oh, I got these a long time ago when they first came out because they were all the rage all over the internet. I just thought it was cool because it did that like little putty situation and I did like it for a while until I realized like it's just it's there. It's just barely there. So the next four things are gonna be some brow products. So I got the Frame Worker um, Brow Palmade by Tarte. It is Big Ego. I am a pomade person. I love it. ABHs is my ride or die. I don't care how everyone changes their eyebrows from now until 2075. 
I'm not doing it. It's my favorite. I tried this and I tried it several times. As you can see, I have tried it several times. It just doesn't do the same. It just kind of like patches off weird. It's kind of like smeary, if that makes any sense. Where ABH, I can kind of just get like a swoop, just a swoop. You know what I mean? But this kind of was, it was not it. So the next two things are these guys, which by the way, both of them were uh, TikTok made me buy situation. So this is the ABH brow freeze that people adore. I have, and you can see it, okay? I use this as a brow gel because there's nothing else I can do with it. So basically I just put it over lightly sometimes. I have tried for the life of me to get this to work. And I don't know if it's just my brows are too stubborn, too something, it just doesn't work. So I went on TikTok and I did a little digging. Like there can't, can't be just me, okay? I cannot be the only one that hates this product. I am not. There are several girls who had the same issue where this would literally last for five seconds and then their brows lay back down. So the problem is when I do that, I'm, you know, flicking and filling a little bit, nothing crazy. When they lay back down, you can see those lines that I tried to fill in and it makes it very sparse and very ugly. I don't like that. Uh, same with this one. This is the next option to that is the brow glue. It's supposed to be exactly like that, but a cheaper alternative. I don't like this one because of this. This one is gooey. I don't know if you can see that, but look, see, it's gooey. It's really weird and it does it like it comes out. It's so gross. This one is gross. This one is messy and it leaves my eyebrows wet. So it's very strange, but neither of them work for me. I did, however, get a recommendation from this one TikTok person, TikToker. I don't know her name, but she said the 24 hour benefit cosmetics brow something. She has brows like mine, very sparse, very stubborn. So I'm hoping, I just ordered that from Ulta. I'm hoping that that's going to be my saving grace because this other, no, no. Then we have this guy. I'm actually going to be doing a take two situation with this one. This is the Stay Naked Hydro Maniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. I did find out when I did my foundation situation someone reached out to me and was like hey if you apply with your fingers like a skin tint or like a you know moisturizer situation that it's better that way so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna try but I hated this it was very streaky it wasn't very hydrating it was it kind of clung to all my dry spots so they say that if I apply with my fingers that it's a better situation which I have found to be true with the Fenty so we'll see We'll see. I'm going to retry this one, but I do regret buying this because it was fucking expensive and it's just a tiny tube. This one is probably my most expensive regret, <laughs> if I'm being honest. This one. This is the Magic Powder by Charlotte Tilbury, the under eye and face magic powder. So I never even heard of this. I'm gonna, if I'm going to be honest, I've never even heard of it until Jacqueline, I think I was recreating one of her makeup videos and she was like, this is my holy grail. It's so good. I got dry skin. I think that a lot of a lot of people think they have dry skin but like really don't have dry skin it's just kind of like dry where like mine is like the desert there's a big difference or levels to dry skin I feel like let me say that it's levels to dry skin so when she says she has dry skin I think she just kind of has dry skin where I'm like top tier like you can't if you get any drier I'll be leather. Like that's how dry my skin is. I put this on my face and I can feel it suck any of the moisture out of the products that I have on. Like I don't know if you've ever put powder on your face and it does that, but believe me, don't go waste your money. This is really expensive, but it's like I would put it on and it literally I can feel it tighten my skin. It just shrunk it and I'm like, ah, ah, because it's so dry. It's this this is the most expensive mistake I think I've made. And then the last thing, my biggest regret, this guy. This is the 35 Eye Artistry Palette by Morphe. Oh, I see fantasy. First of all, this palette is gross. I don't know if you can see that. I have, I have tried a many, many times to get this palette to just please show me the same love as it shows people across Instagram. The pigment on those pastel looks that I've seen are just unbeatable. They're so stunning. I put this on my eyes and it was garbage. I used that white putty primer. I used another white primer. I have done everything in my means to get this to work and it's 
hasn't. So, no more recommendations. I think I'm done with it. Maybe I'll give it a second chance. I don't know. I hate throwing away my babies. But this one is just... <sighs> It just bothers me so bad because I have the pastel palette from Huda. It's the retrograde. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. It's Huda. Come on. But it just, like, this just doesn't, I want to be like, oh, get this instead because it's cheaper. This was garbage. A lot of people post about this one or did post about it. It's not very new. So, you know, when something's not new, it doesn't get posted about anymore. But a lot of people posted pictures with these and they were so bomb and they were so pigmented and they were so beautiful. And this palette is just a crusty, musty, fallout mess. I'm not a fan. I don't like it. I don't like you. So I just, mm, this one, I, I could have left this one. This one could have stayed in the cart is all I'm saying. That is my last beauty item that I regret buying. I hope that no one was offended by this video because that is never my intention. I never intentionally offend people. If I do, I apologize. However, it's not, it's not my vibe. That's not what I'm here for. I just have to be honest with you guys and the things that I purchase. And if I hate them, I don't want to ever tell you guys, yeah, it's so awesome. Now, will some of these maybe work for you in your day to day life? Things that you may like? Then sure, probably, of course. So again, you have to take YouTube reviews with a grain of salt because just because I hate something doesn't mean that everyone will hate it. As for the brands themselves, I don't have any issues with any of these brands. I just, these products just didn't work for me. If you have tips on how to get these to work better, please let me know. But that is it for today's video, guys. Guys, if you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on my new videos that I upload every single week. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!